Hello there, my name is Simon K. Williams. I help businesses grow using online digital assets. And today I'm going to talk a little bit about e learning. Now, e learning is an area that's been growing uh, massively over the last few years. And as I talk to you right now, I'm actually kind of locked up at home. Uh, we're in the middle of the coronavirus right now. It's the 1st of April, and no, this is not an April Fool's joke. And um, not surprisingly, some of the online e learning uh, companies have just exploded financially. I mean, they've just, you know, many billions of dollars. The industry has gone up many billions of uh, dollars in just the last couple of weeks. And personally, I think the industry is going to grow and grow. You've got hundreds of millions of people around the world that are learning to, kind of being forced to engage with online e-learning tools, largely for the first time. And they're learning that actually some of these tools work pretty good. And they're not going to stop knowing that once the world gets back into shape and once school opens again, right? Um, they're going to realize that actually some of these tools are really, really good, really, really powerful, and can learn a huge amount online uh, using some of the new technology that's now available to us. So if you want to learn a little bit more about e-learning, you may well be thinking about getting your hands on a book. And I've done just that myself, uh, several books. And today, I'm going to talk a little bit about this book from Tim Slade called The E-Learning Designer's Handbook. Um, I'll just give you a quick outline. It's really nicely laid out. Um, I don't know who designed it. I'm actually assuming Tim did, um, which would obviously make sense. Um, there's lots of, sort of bullet points. Uh, it's really neat. It's got some nice sort of project plans and downloads, sort of worksheets which you can use. Um, now, as it says on the front cover, it's called a handbook, and that's what you need to kind of remember. It does not pretend to tell you everything about the e-learning industry, and Tim makes that point himself. And it's got a nice section at the end of this book to go on and, and get additional learning about other areas. Um, it's not going to guide you about what your e-learning project should be about. That's not what this book is for. It's not going to help you market it. So if you're an entrepreneur looking to launch an online project, it's not going to give you that kind of guidance or input. It's not going to give you guidance about price points, promotions, marketing techniques, anything of that nature. Okay? What this book is about, quite simply, is about project management. It doesn't actually use that phrase, anyone here that I've seen, but that is really what this book is about. And as such, this book is perfectly positioned for anyone um, that is probably working for a client. Either they've got a boss or, or working for maybe it's an internal project and you've been tasked with producing this item and you want to get a little bit more knowledge about how to do it. Or you've stumbled into this area and you've got external clients that you need to work with, then, 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 sorry, then this book is a perfect fit for you. I think it really is. Um, Really, really easy to use, bite-sized. You can kind of skim through it and get the basics of it and go back into a bit more detail if you wish. Make notes as you go through. You can see I've got a whole bunch of tabs here um, for that reason, just sort of nice little points here. Now, if you're someone that has already produced lots of kind of digital assets before, maybe like mobile applications, web apps, things of that nature, and you're used to the project management process, then probably this book isn't such so valuable to you. Um, you're probably aware of the basic kind of steps and processes, and this book is really just going to back up the sort of generally considered best business process to project managing those projects. I'll just quickly outline the sort of what's available here on the, the chapters page. Breaks it down, Tim breaks it down to a nice five-step process. Step one, plan the project. Step two, draft a storyboard. And Tim goes into a little bit of detail about the best way to do that, which is great. Step three, develop the course. Step four, review the course. And then it's really about getting sort of early adoption, right, early adopters and getting feedback from those users. And then step five, delivering the course, making those iteration uh, improvements and then delivering the course. So that's it. Uh, if you're looking for a book uh, on e-learning, particularly if it's around project management, now get your hands on this uh, from Tim. Uh, I think you're going to find it a great aid. Okay, that's it from me. Over and out. Speak to you soon.